Through the project Women Supporting Women, Switzerland contributes to sustaining peace through empowering women to lead dialogue and contribute to prevention of tensions at community level. Le programme promeut une approche communautaire dite « guérir ensemble » et qui travaille sur les cycles de la violence, y compris les violences sexuelles et basées sur les genres qui sont corollaires au conflit. Since 2013, Switzerland is supporting the Honduran National Police in its reform process. For the regional project Grassroots Women Building Resilience and Peace in Central America, Women's groups from Costa Rica, Guatemala, Nicaragua and El Salvador have acquired the skills and forged alliances to engage local stakeholders in dialogue processes to seek joint solutions in order to prevent conflict. Switzerland, through a community-based protection and peace-building project implemented by a non-violent peace post, plays a crucial role in conflict prevention in South Sudan. Le Nazioni Unite e le istituzioni finanziarie internazionali come la Banca Mondiale sono essenziali per aiutare i paesi ad uscire da un conflitto e a passare ad uno sviluppo sostenibile. Building long-term and sustainable peace requires working on resilience both at individual and society levels. Having people talking to each other on how best to jointly manage water is an effective way of reducing tensions and the potential of conflicts. Working on sustainable peace means addressing the underlying causes of conflict resulting in violence. If we think of arts and culture as a virtual space where dialogue can happen, where discussions can happen, where more understanding and empathy can be gained, this is where we can reach a more peaceful world. Only a constructive and positive relationship between the police and the people can ultimately foster what is most needed for peaceful societies, and that is trust. Women are often neglected in reconciliation processes. Although, as the caretakers of communities, the contribution to peace is essential. Lorsqu'une masse critique des personnes décide de changer de comportement, nous avons beaucoup plus de chances d'atteindre une paix véritable. 